It's not you against the world. If you really think about it and understand what it really means, it's you against you. I had to learn and really understand what this really meant. Me being against myself, me being against my own thoughts, me being against everything that I'm doing. However, the best result is created from awareness and the more we try to be better than yesterday. I've learned the best way I am able to grow, the best way I am able to heal, the best way I am able to walk into my purpose is to understand that I can only be better than I was yesterday. I can't be better than the next because if, I, if I'm comparing myself to the next person, the next person has more leverage over me because now I'm watching their every move instead of focusing on myself. Nonetheless, when it's you versus you, you have to really dive into yourself and understand why things are presented in a way that they was taught. <laughs> but they was only taught for us to help us grow into a unique version of ourselves each and every day. But see, here's the thing that a lot of people don't tell you about. It's going to be hard. On the contrary of it's being hard, you have a decision to make. You have a choice and a feeling and expression to express within yourself. <laughs> However, how do you express them thoughts if you haven't took the time to learn who you are? What's going on everybody? My name is Terrell with the Y Humphrey and welcome to another conversation, another topic, another life talk at Failure is Knowledge. See here at Failure is Knowledge, we dive deep with life and how you can become better within yourself. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, and make sure you wait to the end and leave a comment on how impactful you versus you is going to be. A couple days ago, I was feeling down. But as I was feeling down, I didn't understand why this emotion came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere because I didn't understand why I was feeling this way. See, we, we have to dive deep with the, with the emotions and within ourselves. I couldn't figure out for the life of me. I knew something was wrong with me, but I couldn't explain it. I couldn't say, I couldn't describe it. Yet I knew I wasn't myself. I knew me not being able to explain it was something deeper that I didn't even understand. What I've learned is that when I was going through my divorce, Last year at the same time, it was so hard for me, it was so difficult for me to even overcome and learn how to talk and communicate and believe in everything that I was doing. And when I asked for the divorce last year of 2022, it began to shift my mind, to shift my perspective, to shift my thought process on how I looked at myself, on how I saw myself, how I perceived who I was. I thought I was a good person because I expected that, that my ex-wife to see how good I was. However, I wasn't good to myself. I wasn't great and patient and kind to myself. Nevertheless, it taught me the importance of being patient with who you are as a person. When I understood that this past Weekend, this past weekend taught me something that I wasn't even prepared to for, for the list. I this past weekend taught me a lesson that I wasn't even prepared to receive, but it taught me in a, in a, in a profound way, in a, in a way that I wasn't expecting it. When I, when I asked for a divorce last year, it began, I began a process of healing and learning more about who I was and who I'm becoming and why I'm doing this. When I've learned, and when I learned that, that I'm, I am not the only one that's going through pain, I'm not the only one that's going through hard times, I am not the only one that, that's, that's facing these trials and tribulations within our lives, I, I, I understood I was becoming more than I expected to be. Yet as I'm becoming more, becoming more is so overwhelming, how do you handle and control everything that's delivered to you? I had to learn how to be in tune, how to understand, how to love, how to be patient with myself within a year. And it, and it was so compressed. It was so much knowledge all at once 
I didn't know how to take it. I didn't know how to receive it. I didn't know how to understand it. However, I began to understand it. I, I began to understand it the more I began to speak about it. <laughs> and it was a it was so mind-blowing because I didn't know what I was talking about. I'm just thinking my feelings is hurt, but let me express my high feelings since my feelings is really hurt in a different level I can't even understand. Nevertheless, as my feelings was being hurt, it was teaching me the person I was becoming. So it was, it was no longer me versus the world, me versus the problem. It was me versus myself. And when I understood it was me against me, this when I really start begin to grow and understand why I was growing this way. You versus you is understanding that you are no longer the person that you were when you went through that pain. That when you went through that hard time, when you went and experienced a heartbreak, you are no longer the same person. Why? Because if you learn from your mistakes, you learn what you did wrong. You learn what went wrong at the time and place that it even presented itself. Because if you want to be honest, it doesn't happen overnight. And they're built up to this, and they're built up to this pain. But see, oftentimes, we neglect that feeling because we don't believe it's our intuition. In hindsight, it's our intuition because we're feeling some type of way. We're thinking it's a, 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 a certain thought process for a particular reason. This is where I began to believe and understand what I was feeling to learn why did this occur? To learn and identify it's not here for no reason, but what is the reason that is presented? The reason that was presented was because I was neglecting, I wasn't paying attention to my intuition. I felt a feeling inside of me that I didn't want to understand. I felt a feeling inside of me that I wanted to go against. And as I was going against it, it taught me that I needed to get my heart broken in order to understand I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. This is just one trial. This is one painful experience that I need to go through, that I need to deal with, that I need to learn. Because as I'm learning, I'm becoming better than I was yesterday. I remember, I remember last year when I asked my ex-wife for a divorce, I couldn't sleep for nothing. I can sleep, I can think properly, I can do anything because my heart was so broken. I was just focused on the pain, which my which was my feelings being hurt, and, and I didn't know how I was on how I was uh, how I was going to survive without her being in my life. This was the best thing that ever happened to me. It was the best thing that ever happened because it taught me who I was. It was me versus me because it was me versus my past. It was me versus me because of me against my feelings. It was me versus me because I wasn't listening to my intuition. See, there, 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 there's a process that has to go on with your growth and your learning and your understanding. See, the understanding comes from you being aware of what you're feeling, not, not, not running away from it, not, not, not pushing it away because it hurts so bad to even sit in it, but really, Getting to a level where you understand why you're feeling some type of way at the time that it was present. Because what I didn't know was that at the more you push your intuition back, the more you go against your intuition, the more you not listen to what you're feeling, the more it gets built up. The more it's building over time. Yet as it's building over time, how do you control the way you respond? You can't because it's built up. I didn't know, I didn't know me building up my, my, my anger, my emotions, my, my feelings caused me to release them in the time that I didn't even expect them to come out. It wasn't me versus me, it was me against the problem. It was me against my past, it was me against my feelings. However, when I understood that I was the one that can, 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 can control my outcome, I no longer Blame myself in a way where I didn't understand why things took, why things took and delivered at the, at, why things was presented at the time that they was delivered. See, the, the people don't people don't tell you that you really have to sit and understand your emotions. 
Your emotions is what, is what will help you become a better communicator if you pay attention to why things are happening when they start happening. Here's what I've learned is that you can't really control the outcome. You can't control what everybody else is doing. My feelings was hurt because I didn't, because my ex-wife didn't give me the type of love that I was looking for when I didn't even know how to love myself. I didn't even know how to love myself, so how can the next person love me properly if I don't even know how to love who I am? And, and, and that's the that's the game, of, that's the name of life, is to learn more about yourself each and every day. Get better than you were yesterday. As I was healing, I just focused on one day at a time. I just focused on a new, a new, new lesson that I can learn and implement today. It taught me that it's gonna, you have to be patient with your journey. You have to be patient with yourself. So I started journaling and I started writing. I started asking myself hard questions because it was no longer me versus the world, me versus my feelings, me versus the problem. It became me versus me. And me versus me taught me I matter. I matter, yet I only matter if I make myself a priority first. <laughs> I matter if I only make myself a priority. Why should the next person make me important if I haven't even made the decision for myself? You see, that's why it's so, un so important to understand you come first. Me versus me was saying, me versus me was not putting myself first. Me versus me was, was, was letting my outcome control how I responded. Me versus me was not saying I have the power to control and handle everything that's in front of me. Here's what me versus me is helping you become that you didn't even know even existed. Me versus me is helping you become aware of everything that you've been through. When I asked my ex-wife for a divorce, I didn't know for for a divorce. When I asked my ex-wife for a divorce, I didn't know I was going to go through this whole phase of growing and learning more about myself and learning more about my purpose and learning and transitioning. As I'm transitioning to myself, I'm becoming more comfortable. But as I'm becoming more comfortable, I'm no longer fighting against myself. I'm no longer going against what I'm thinking because what I'm thinking is there for a reason. Here's why this is so important. I, I learned to put myself first. I learned how to put myself first. If I gave my all to the next person and the next person didn't return what I was looking for, now my feelings is hurt. On the contrary, what if you meet someone that can meet, match your energy and as you're matching each other energies, Y'all growing together. But see, you can only grow if you put if you invest and put time into yourself. It doesn't happen overnight. <laughs> what you're seeing today, you're seeing a product over a year, year time, time, time frame. I went in it every day trying to figure out how can I be better than yesterday? How can I become more aware? Just uh, one, one, one step aware how can i become more aware than i was yesterday how can i learn more about who i am and who i'm becoming people don't tell you that you need to go through pain in order to recognize it's you versus you rather than you going against the world there's no comparison when you understand yourself I understand me because it's me versus me. How can I be better than I was yesterday? How can I grow into a unique version of myself each and every day? I can't go back and change what happened in the past. The past has already happened. But, however, what I can do is learn how to live with the past and accept everything that has happened. And as I'm accepting everything that has happened, I'm, I'm catapulting. I'm growing in a, in a fast rate that I didn't even expect would even happen. So when I was down, when I was emotionally down this past weekend, I was down because I had to recognize how far Anna came. I recognized how far Anna came because a video popped up for May 30th of 2022 when my feelings was hurt. 
when I was when, when I was when I made a video expressing how I felt. I watched that video today and it brought me back memories because I didn't even I, I didn't even remember this video. I didn't even remember me making this video. That's what happens when you start to work on yourself. You we begin to block out the pain that was right there at that time when it was present. But if you really want to be honest, you're not blocking it out. You've learned to work with it. I've learned to work with the pain that was causing me to feel that way. And as I was working the pain and understanding what this pain was, it became my passion. It became my purpose to help other people believe in themselves. But see, it's no longer me against the world, <laughs> me against the problem, or me against what other people are thinking. No, 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 it's me versus me, and how can I be better than I was yesterday? I began to understand that the more I was working on myself. I started to believe that I was gonna be okay because I was able to see another, another day. And as I was able to see another day, I began to understand more and more and more and more. Why? Because I went seeking for the knowledge to grow more, to be comfortable with the process, to be comfortable with the unknown, to be comfortable with, with the journey. See, the journey is one thing, but it's another phase by itself. Once I figure things out, how can this journey help me more? How can I help more people overcome what I was dealing with at the time when it was present? And it's teaching me that I, my message is so bigger than me. My purpose is so bigger than me. It's showing me that I'm becoming so creative. I'm becoming so creative to help other people solve their problems. <laughs> And as I'm helping other people solve their problems, I begin to walk in my passion and my purpose. See, people don't tell you that you need to go through your pain in order to recognize why me versus me is so important. Me versus me is saying, I'm going to put myself first. Me versus me is saying, I believe in myself. Me versus me is saying, I'm gonna be better than I was yesterday rather than comparing myself to another person. I'm comparing myself to the old Terrell. I'm comparing myself to last year's Terrell. And if you want to be honest, I've grew so much. I wasn't prepared for the success that's coming. I wasn't prepared for the success that's coming. Yet as I'm as I keep doing it and keep getting prepared and keep understanding and keep growing and keep believing and keep having faith, I become ready to receive everything that's about to come my way. But see, it started last year, May 5th of 2022. I made a decision to either sit in my pain or to neglect what I was feeling. You only have two options. There's no in between. You can't be one foot in, one foot out because you're never going to see the results that you don't know you can get. I made a, a conscious decision to go and become better each and every day. And this taught me that you're going to be okay. This taught me I was going to be okay. And it showed me over time, because time is of the essence, but when you understand time being the, of the essence, you become more understanding of your journey. I became understanding of my journey, of my journey because my journey has taught me so much. And the special part about it, I'm just beginning. <laughs> I'm just beginning because we have so much more to accomplish. We have so much more to accomplish. So it's no longer me against the world. It's no longer me against the problem. It's no longer me against my feelings. It's always me versus me because I'm finding ways to be better than I, were, than I was yesterday. And as I'm finding ways to be better than I was yesterday, 
I get better and better and better and better. Yeah, are you are you ready to walk into your journey to understand and, and uh, uh, receive everything that is meant for you? Me versus me is saying, I have no other choice and this is gonna work for me. But as it's working for me, I still have them days where I don't be feeling like it. I still, I still be having them days where I just feel down, but as I'm feeling down, the reasoning gets presented the more I think about it. The more I'm listening to my thoughts, the more I'm listening to my feelings, the more I'm listening to my gut, it gets, it gets, it get discovered because I'm searching for the answer. You can't search for, you can't get the answer if you're not searching for the outcome. You can't get the answer if you're not searching for the outcome. I've been searching for the outcome. I'm still searching for the outcome. And I would never go against myself because I understand me versus me is what's going to help me grow in a special rate. If y'all got value from this and really enjoyed the video about me versus me, click this video right here, right here, and watch a new video on life growth, growth, and how you can become better than you were yesterday. I appreciate it.